Hello friends, in today's video we will be studying all about participles. There will be separate videos on gerunds and infinitives, links for which will be in the description box below. So let's get rolling. Participles are not the main verb in the sentence. They do not function as the verb. Instead, they function as adjectives. Participles are divided into three parts. The past participles, present participles, and perfect participles. First, let's take a look at present participles. Present participles are created by adding ing to the verb's first form. It functions as an adjective in the sentence. For example, she went shopping. Here, went is the main verb in the sentence, and shopping, the second verb, instead functions as an adjective. I go running every morning. Here, go is the main verb and running the second verb instead, the past participle, the present participle functions as an adjective. Past participles. Past participles are the verb's third form and they function as adjectives in the sentence. Let's Look at some examples of past participles. He was finished with his homework. Here, finished is the third form of the verb, finish. The cookies were baked fresh this morning. Here, baked is the third form of the verb bake. Now, let's look at perfect participles. Perfect participles indicate completed action. They can be in active or passive form. In active form, they are created by having plus verbs third form. And in passive form, they are created by having been plus verbs Moving third form. forward to the writing part. Today, your assignment is to write a 300 word composition about your dream house. So that's all for now. We'll meet in the next episode. Until then, Goodbye and don't forget to subscribe. Having is the perfect participle here. Now, in the passive form, having been scolded by teachers, the boy improved his performance. Here, having been is the past is the perfect participle. Let's look at one more example. Having been beaten up many times, he started to fight back. Here, yeah, having been is the passive form of the perfect participle. For the sake of your practice, we have a practice quiz about participles in store for you. Do attempt it. That's all for now. We'll meet in the next episode. Until then, Goodbye and don't forget to subscribe.